Hi guys, so thanks for joining me on this run through of the Business GCSE at Excel Pearson paper. So here we're just going to take a, uh, a little run through the paper so that you get a good grasp of what's going on with this paper one, which of course uh, tests the theme one content that is uh, 1.1 uh, through to 1.5. So first thing to note, uh, we've got an hour and 30 minutes uh, in terms of uh, writing time. Uh, so let's let's get moving through this now just remember what we've uh, said regarding section a section a does not have a case study as it doesn't have a case study these uh, questions are very straightforward to answer and you can really dash through these very very quickly you almost want to be able to time yourself on these explain questions where you need to work to that IDLT identify a point this leads to therefore structure so that you've got three connected sentences and you're providing three distinct marks there now we'll do a lot of practice on this on the channel here uh, so that you get really good at these uh, explain based questions so based on this section a we can see that we've got eight marks available for uh, the first question or the first series of questions now moving through to uh, the second set of questions well, we can see that we've now got a calculate question. Uh, we've got some more multiple choice where now instead of selecting one, you have to uh, identify two and two more explain the three mark questions for that IDLT structure. Now that represents 12 marks uh, and this is our final set of questions uh, in section A. So this is uh, our final 15 marks of section A. So therefore we can see that we've got 35 marks in all. Uh, so 35 marks in all just down here. Uh, now you want to make sure that you only allocate probably about 25 minutes towards completing section A get that done quickly you might want to leave that last okay you might want to go straight into section b and c and make sure that you give yourself enough time on those areas so let's now have a look at section b look the first thing we see is this case study now what you've got to do here is ignore it go straight to the question and then pick out uh, what the question is looking for, go back to the actual uh, case study information and look for the application that you can generate. Every single response that you give in section B and C must include application to the case study, even within a two mark. Uh, so one method of promotion, here we can see it's a small business. You can't put down TV there as an example of uh, promotion that this business is going to use because that's not applicable to them. Right, so the next one is an analyzed question. We've got eight marks on the first, uh, first question four there. Now, here it gets a little bit trickier because you can see we've got a calculate question, we've got another outline question, we've got an analyze question. Uh, now, within this analyze question, you've got to make sure that you go back and forth to that case study information and that you are picking out two to three pieces of application. I'd aim for three pieces of application in the six mark question. So there's uh, three marks available for AO2 here. So that's what you want to do at a minimum there, okay? And then moving through to uh, question six, once again, what you can see is that you've got to make sure, particularly with this justified question, which has three marks available for AO2, the, the application uh, assessment uh, objective, you've got to go back and forth to the case study. So many students just will not do this and they will miss out on lots of marks because they don't do that. Right, in section C, we can see that we get a new case study here. So this new case study, uh, it's a little bit more detailed, of course, as we can see there. So there's a little bit more depth to this one. Uh, the, we've got these nice short uh, questions. Don't read it, go straight to the questions, then go back to the case study and pick out the information that you need, okay? Otherwise, what will happen is you'll just read all of this, uh, then you'll get to a question and you forget what you've actually read and you'll need, it, need to read it all again. So just jump straight into the questions there. Now, these are the last two questions on the paper, of course. So we've got 7D and 7E, a 9 mark and a 12 mark. 
So these questions are generally where students are going to get uh, a little bit hung up in terms of uh, timings, okay? Particularly if they've spent too long on section A. So make sure that's not you. I'd advise you to go to section B first and there you want to spend uh, of the order of about 35 minutes on section B and 30 minutes on section C. So you, you can see that once again with these questions you've got to go back and forth to the case study information to pick out the information you need and fully answer the questions. So basically that's the structure guys. Uh, it is consistent across theme one and theme two. We'll have a, uh, another video looking at the theme two paper but you'll see it is entirely consistent in the structure and that's very helpful in terms of your exam, exam management. Great stuff, see you next time.